All right, guys, today's agenda is a little different. We're going on a heist. When I stopped eating ice cream in the Senate chambers. Exactly what I'm talking about. We're about to pull off the heist of the century. Though I gotta say, I'm a fan of this purple vibe we've got going on. We've got our approach and our target. Now what's left on our to-do list? Donald, you better step on it, man. I didn't sign up for jail time, brother. This isn't part of the retirement plan. Uh, Joe, relax. The last thing we need is to draw more attention. Trump's got this. Right, Donald? That motherfucking thing got to be in this room. Hello, Lester. The package is secure. We're en route to the lair with the hard drive. Four million? Whoa, that's a whole lot of ice cream cones. When did you turn into USA and Bolt, Donald? I didn't know you had it in your buddy. All right, let's show these folks how it's done. Time to kick off this goddamn heist. You fellas ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's make history again. Good to go. Let's get in, get out, and get ice cream. Wait, I mean, get the paintings. Joe, what's all this fuss about Alex Parson? Why is he getting a shout out? Oh, Alex is just one of our loyal viewers, Donald. He left a comment saying, these guys keep me going. Stoned or sober, it's always a great time with the boys. Always better with a Big Mac and some ice cream. Keep up the good work. Stoned or sober, huh? Sounds like a fun guy. Yeah, he sure knows how to enjoy himself, and he's always showing love and support for us. Well, Alex, if you're watching, thanks for the shout out. Keep enjoying those Big Macs and ice cream. Absolutely. We appreciate all our viewers, especially those who keep it real like Alex. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You know, folks, hearing from viewers like Alex Parson really reminds me why we do what we do. We're here to entertain, inform, and bring a smile to your face. So if you're enjoying our content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. It helps us reach more people and keep the show going strong. Let's make America great again. One subscribe and like at a time. Surprise, gentlemen, this is not a drill. This is the heist of the century and you're all invited to witness it. Or not, gather around, each of can have a bullet. It's the least I can give you. Hear me out, I'm just here to borrow a few paintings. But don't wait up, I'm not great at returning things. So where are these masterpieces stashed in this maze? The vault's in the basement. That's where our art gallery awaits. That's our final stop on this grand tour. When we hit the vault, I'm flying solo, no offense, boys. But we can't afford any slip-ups and Sleepy Joe, let's face it, you have a talent for. Creative distraction. Hey, my creative distractions have saved more than just vases from breaking. But fine, you handle the Mona Lisa's, I'll keep the guards' autograph books full. Oh, I'm sure they'll be worth millions one day, Joe, especially with your signature on them, could be more valuable than the paintings themselves. Let's just make sure the only autographs we're leaving are on the withdrawal slips from our bank accounts after this. All right, this is it. On the other side of this door, our date with Destiny, or at least a few million dollars worth of it. Destiny sounds like a lovely lady. Hope she's ready for some presidential charm. This hard disk is a miracle worker. Seriously, without it, we'd be as lost as a vegan in a steakhouse. All hail to Lester, the unsung hero of this escapade. Let's not forget to give credit where credit's due. He is the one that helped us getting the devices. I had no idea we were walking into such a crowded party. I mean, look at all these Tom, Dick, and Harrys. I love parties, yay. Tom, Dick, and who now? It's an expression, Barack. You know, the bodyguards, they're swarming like bees to honey. Seems like they're almost excited to see us. Well, they're in for one hell of a surprise party, and guess what? We're bringing the fireworks. As long as those fireworks don't include actual explosives. I left my bomb squad suit at the cleaners. I'm just hoping they've got some good cake at this party, you know, after we've bagged the paintings and all. Trust me, we'll have our cake and eat it too, and it'll taste like four million bucks, ha 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 ha. Let's just make sure it's not a four million dollar mud pie, Donald, eyes on the prize. I'll toast to that, to the ultimate prize and no mud pies. After I clear this room, I'm heading into the vault for the paintings. You two, keep your eyes peeled out here, we'll stay in touch through the earpieces. But why can't we come with you? I wanted to see the vault too. Oh, come on, Joe, you're not a kid on a field trip. Haven't you seen a vault before? Besides, we've got pictures. You can have a look at the pictures, bro. All right, all right, fine, I'll play lookout. Just don't get too cozy in there without us. Good luck in there and watch out for any surprises. No lasers or booby traps, hopefully, or stupid traps that will immobilize you. I'm not expecting a spy movie set inside Barack, just a big old vault door that needs a little persuasion, of which I got the right tools for this job. And hurry up, would you? I've got a feeling the cops might be making an entrance of their own pretty soon. No wonder I asked for lookouts. Keep your suits on, I'm working as fast as I can here. And please don't tell me to hurry up. This is my mission, I am the one to give orders here. This is my mission, I am the one to give orders here. And please, no more hurry ups. This is my show, my rules. Yo, don't talk to us like we're your apprentices on some reality show. We could just walk out and leave you to play heist hero by yourself. And for the record, I had plans tonight. This stupid heist wasn't my first pick for a Friday evening. Oh, please, go then. I'd like to see you try to find anything better than a $4 million payday on your calendar tonight. You think I can't handle this solo? Watch me. Guys, guys, let's not lose our heads here. Obama, think about it, $4 million. That's a lot of zeros, a lot of ice cream, buddy. Let's give Trump a minute. He's got this, I think. Let him do his thing. Thank you, Joe. At least someone here recognizes genius at work. You'd think after running a country, a simple heist would be a piece of cake. Damn, this door's thicker than the plot of a daytime soap. Melting, it's taken a century. Maybe you should serenade it, Donald. I hear love songs speed up the melting process. 
If I start singing, Joe, that'll be the real high stealing a moment of peace from you two. Just think of it as warming up for the victory speech, Donald. Melting doors today, melting hearts tomorrow. I am a fucking genius. Genius? Let's not stretch it, Donald, but fine, we'll wait. But for the record, I was going to binge watch my favorite show tonight. Now, I'm stuck here watching Trump's greatest heist, not quite the entertainment I had in mind. Come on, Barack, it's like live theater, and you've got front row seats. Plus, who knows, maybe we'll get a spin-off series. Oh, a spin-off, Joe? How about the Apprentice Presidential Edition? I can see it now, high stakes, bigger challenges, and of course, me as the star. As long as I'm not a contestant. I've had my fill of challenges, thank you very much. Let's just focus on this one last episode, shall we? Right, one episode at a time. And Donald, when you crack that vault, make sure to smile for the cameras. This could be your Emmy-winning moment. Cameras or not, this is going down in history. Now, quiet on the set. I'm about to make us all stars. I'm in, guys. Now, to grab these pictures and stash them, this is like shopping at the most exclusive gallery. Oh, please, can you paint me a picture of the vault? No pun intended. Biden, you're such a pain in the butt. All right, it's all marble floors and shiny surfaces, and yes, each painting is in its own little cell. Happy now? And how exactly are you handling the artwork, Trump? Are you sure there aren't any surprises waiting for you? Trust me, it's all clear. No booby traps, no alarms. Just me and these multi-million dollar canvases. Be careful with them. Art is delicate and collectors won't pay top dollar for damaged goods, so please handle them with ultimate care. Be careful, he said. I'm handling these like they're newborns, Barack, but seriously, a minute ago you were all, let's call it a day, and now you're Mother Teresa paintings. Well, I care about our retirement plans, Donald, and damaged paintings aren't part of it. My concern for art is like your concern for headlines always there, no matter what the story is. That's right, Trump. Handle them like you would a golf club, gently and with respect. Wouldn't want you to slice a Picasso now, would we? Don't worry about me, I've got this. I'm as delicate as I am strong, like an elephant in a china shop if the elephant was a genius, of course. Got it, Barack. I'm handling these like they're made of glass. The last thing we need is a Picasso jigsaw puzzle. But what makes these paint splashes so darn precious anyway? Joe, it's about rarity artistry. A sought after artist's work can cause bidding frenzies. Plus the quality of the materials, the hours of labor, all that jazz inflates the price tag. Imagine that, Biden. Some folks pay millions to hang a splash of color on their walls, and here we are, about to walk out with a fortune in splash of color. So we're art collectors now. I always knew I had a keen eye for expensive things. Well, let's hope your eye for art is better than your taste in ties, Joe. If only these paintings could talk, imagine the stories they'd tell about tonight. Trump, please tell me we're close to done here. These alarms are going to give me grier hair than the presidency did. Wrap it up, will ya? Almost there. Just the last two. Hold your horses in your hair dye, Barack. Hey, Trump, ever consider a career as an art thief? Next stop, the Louvre. We could pick up Mona Lisa while we're at it. Steal the Mona Lisa? Joe, have you lost your last marble? We'd have every cop from here to Timbuktu on our tails. Actually, Biden's got a point. Stealing the Mona Lisa is definitely on my to-do list, right between golfing on the moon and inventing a new tie knot. You're both insane, that's official. Michelle warned me about you two. She said, Barack, don't go hang out with those guys, and now I know why. You two are a bad company. Where's that famous Obama cool, huh? You used to say, yes, we can, now's not the time to turn into a no, we can't. No, man, this is a different case, bro. Yeah, Barack, think of the headlines, former presidents go grand with the grandest art heist. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Only if we get to wear those black berates and stripy shirts. Oh, and we must have fake mustaches very French. And that's a wrap, gentlemen. Who needs the Mona Lisa when we've got our own multi-million dollar art collection? All right, but let's get out of here before those fancy French heist plans become our reality. Biden, you on Lookout? Lookout is my middle name. Well, actually, it's Robinette, but today it's Lookout. Are the cops here yet? We can't get caught, not when I'm this close to adding a couple more zeros to my bank account. Let's move, people. Did you grab all the artwork? Tell me you cleaned those walls bare. Couldn't snag him all, Joe. There's a thing called time, and it ran out faster than I could say art thief extraordinaire. You're telling me we spent all this time for a half-baked art hall? You were in there long enough to paint your own masterpiece, Donald? What the f***, bro? Less money, sure, but more freedom, Barack. We can't get greedy now. Dead men spend no dollars. It's time to ghost. Four or five paintings? That's like bringing a knife to a gunfight, Trump. Looks like someone's getting a taste for the finer things in life. What's next, Trump complaining about the thread count on your prison sheets? Hey, four or five masterpieces will do just fine. It's quality over quantity, gentlemen, and thread count. Please, I'll have my own line of luxury prison linens by the end of the month. Luxury prison linens, now there's an untapped market. But let's focus on the getaway, shall we? Unless you want your new brand to launch posthumously. Right, the only painting I'm interested in is the one of us walking away from this scot-free. Listen, we came, we saw, we sort of conquered. Let's get out of here and lay low. The Trump brand will survive, fewer paintings or not. To the presidential mobile, gentlemen. Time to turn these paintings into cold, hard cash. Where'd we park the car again? My memory's not what it used to be, especially under duress. 
What's wrong with you, Joe? It's right where we left it up top, near the getaway hydrangea. You know, the bush you almost watered on our way in. Oh man, we could have had it all, every single painting. Less lamenting, more legging it, Obama. We've got enough to start our own gallery, minus the velvet ropes and pretentious wine sippers. I always fancied myself an art dealer, minus the dealing part. More into the appreciating and the accidental acquiring. Accidental acquiring, Joe? Is that what we're calling grand larceny now? Yeah, it's like finding a 20 on the sidewalk, except the 20 is a Van Gogh and the sidewalk is a high security vault. There she is, the chariot awaiting its noble steeds, or should I say its artful dodgers? Noble steeds? More like aging ponies with a penchant for mischief. Say goodbye to the scene of the crime. From now on, it's high society, art auctions, and anonymous donations for us. So Donald, you got buyers lined up for these priceless doodles or what? Well, the plan was for Lester to hawk them. He's got connections that make Wi-Fi look weak, but now that I think about it, why split the pie when we could have the whole bakery? Go on, I'm all ears, and if your plan keeps my hands from shaking hands with handcuffs, I'm all in. Instead of Lester's mystery buyers, I say we go top shelf. We sell to the cream of the crop Devin Weston or others like him in Los Santos. High risk, high reward, high society. As long as my cut can buy a lifetime supply of ice cream, I'm down. What's the point of being an art thief if you can't indulge in a little rocky road, right? Cash in hand, that's the key. No I ask, no waiting for wire transfers. We do this. We do it clean and fast. Exactly, we keep it all in the family well, the heist family. Cut out the middleman, keep the profits fat. Like my steaks, cooked to perfection. And speaking of family, I'll make sure to send you boys holiday cards from my ice cream palace. No hard feelings if I spend my share on a Sunday bar. Just don't forget to invite us over, Joe. I'll bring the toppings. As for the paintings, let's just make sure they're off our hands before they're hot enough to melt your precious ice cream. You know, our escapades really do have a certain thrill to them. On the lamb, dodging the cops makes us quite the high-class hoodlums, doesn't it? Top class? The only class Trump's familiar with involves a mugshot backdrop. Isn't that right? Shouldn't you be behind bars instead of steering wheels? Jail, Joe? Please, this face? It's made for posters, billboards, and presidential portraits, not mugshots. And I'll remind you, I'm headed back to the Oval Office. That's the power of brand Trump tougher than a $2 steak. Tougher or just more overcooked? Remember, we're only as good as our last heist, and I don't plan on our next adventure involving orange jumpsuits. Overcooked or not, we've got to steer clear of the real iron bars, guys. Wouldn't want to trade our tailored suits for whatever fashion disaster they're handing out in the big house. Fashion disaster, I turn any cell block into a runway. But no worries, the only suit I'll be wearing is my victory suit on Inauguration Day. Just don't let that suit be striped, my friend. And if we're talking inaugurations, let's make sure it's the opening of an art gallery, not a cell door. Art galleries sound about right. Plus, I hear the Whores D.O. Ivories are better, and you can bet they'll have more than just ice cream. Why does every escape under your wheel turn into an off-road adventure, Donald? Can't we stick to the pavement like civilized escapees? Or, heaven forbid, let someone else drive? You two bozos drive? Hey, we'd be in cuffs faster than you can say, Jack Robinson, I'm the maestro of the getaway, the Picasso of the pedal. Besides, it's not like you're super glued to your seats. Feel free to hop out and walk if my driving offends your delicate sensibilities. All right, Trump, I get it. You're the chosen one behind the wheel. But for the love of all things creamy and vanilla, can you try not to turn this ride into a roller coaster? My milkshakes had more airtime than I signed up for. Yes, Donald, think of the milkshakes. And while we're at it, my approval ratings never took dips and dives quite like this car under your command. A smooth ride might just preserve what's left of our post-presidency grace. Grace, my middle name's Danger Obama. And Biden, your milkshake might just be the first casualty of our grand escape. Sacrifices must be made, but don't worry, I'll buy you a new one, make it a double when we're millionaires lounging on some tropical beach. A tropical beach sounds great, but at this rate, the only thing lounging will be my stomach contents. Next time, I'm bringing a sippy cup. A sippy cup, Joe? I was thinking more along the lines of seat belts and airbags, maybe even a roll cage if Trump's at the helm. So gents, any grand plans for your share of the loot? Well, as I've mentioned, I'm eyeing a few islands for Michelle. Islands. Cute, I'm thinking bigger space. I'll build towers on Mars. Elon's got nothing on Trump Galactic. I'll call him up after we're not America's most wanted anymore. Me? I'm gonna embark on a global fast food tour. Every McDonald's, KFC, and Taco Bell from here to the whole world. Joe, you're a walking, talking advertisement for heartburn, all this money, and all you can think about is filling your belly? At least I know what I like, Donald. Besides, who wouldn't want to see the world one cheeseburger at a time? From Mars to fast food, huh? Well, if Trump's towers need a drive through Joe's your man. Great Biden's bite serving all your Martian munchies. You think aliens prefer fries or onion rings? Why choose? Let's give them both. Diplomacy through diplomacy, I say. These cops stick closer than my Twitter followers. Any genius ideas on shaking them off? How about the train tracks? It's a classic move difficult for cars to follow, and it might just give us the edge we need. Guys, why don't we call the Fast and Furious crew? Imagine it a helicopter swoop in, right on cue, lifting us to safety, Hollywood style, baby. You've lost it, Joe. How in the world do we call the Fast and Furious team? What, do they have a hotline and wake up from that dream, buddy? This isn't a movie. 
Joe, as much as I appreciate your creativity, I think you've been watching too many late night marathons. Next, you'll be suggesting we summon Batman with the bat signal. And yet it's daytime. Hey, in times of crisis, you've got to think outside the box. And if Vin Diesel happens to be available, I say, why not? But fine, the train tracks it is. Less cinematic, but I suppose it'll do. All right, train tracks it is. Less Hollywood, more old school. But mark my words, if we get out of this, I'm buying myself a cameo in the next Fast and Furious. Trump, the action hero, has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Let's stick to being heroes of our own story for now, gentlemen. As for cameos, let's just make sure it's not on America's Most Wanted. Come on, step on it, bro. We're almost clear of this mess. Hey, look who decided to check in on his favorite outlaws. Who is it? It's Lester. Well, pick up the phone. He might have a way out for us. How did it go, guys? Do you have the paintings? Where are you headed now? We're just trying to shake the cops. Lester will hit you up once we're back in the city. Okay, bye. Did you just lie to him? Shut up, Biden. What's with the third degree? We've been over this. I'm not rehashing our plan every five minutes. Easy, guys. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. We can sort out the details once we're safe. Right now, focus is key. Tonight we celebrate. We pulled off the impossible. To the White House, gentlemen, let's enjoy our evening drive home.